I go to a Buffalo Bills game every year with the guys at work. Uh, we rent a bus and we load it full of food and beer. Uh, I'm not a big Buffalo Bills fan, but I like them. It's kind of like picking a scab. This 2009 Buffalo Bills, you know, they weren't that great. They were one and three. But we, hey, you know, we're playing Cleveland. They haven't won a game since 2008. And they were on a 10 game losing streak. I felt, I felt pretty good about this game. It was a nice day. It was sunny. It was one of those days that was colder than it appeared because of the wind. The wind was about 15 to 20 miles an hour from the northwest across Lake Erie. And you know when that wind enters that stadium and swirls around, it wreaks havoc on quarterbacks and kickers who enter it. Once the teams ran onto the field, I saw that they were wearing pink. They had pink hats, pink gloves, pink wristbands, pink shoes. I was like, damn, I go to one game a year and the NFL decides it's Breast Cancer Awareness Month. If I wanted to see a bunch of guys run around in pink, I would have gone to the ballet. At this point, I knew something wasn't right. Score at halftime was 0-3 Cleveland. What a pathetic exhibition of football. I knew that the only thing to make this bearable would be beer, and I mean lots and lots of beer. I knew that the uh, concession stand quit selling beer at the end of halftime. And although they sold 20 ounces, you could only buy two beers at a time. I wasn't sure if there'd be enough time. never left a football game early in my life, but this game was pathetic. I felt like hurling myself from section 328, but the fall would have only been 25 feet onto the ramp. Probably would have been enough to maim me, but not kill me. If I wanted to watch such a boring game, I would have went to a soccer game. At this point, I wanted my money back. Roscoe Parrish fumbled the uh, punt return on the 16-yard line with like three minutes left. This was the second fumble of the game. I thought to myself, damn Roscoe, what the F man? If I wanted someone to fumble the ball, I would put my son out there. But it's kind of weird. You know, on the one hand, I knew that we were probably going to lose the game at this point. But on the other hand, the game would be over. Fans didn't deserve to watch overtime. That would have been torture. Uh, Cleveland Browns beat the Buffalo Bills 6-3 on a last second field goal from the 18 yard line. I survived because I drank a lot of beer. I survived because there's always next year.